Hello everyone, Jeremy here, and today I'm going to be taking a look at Pixel Junk Shooter Ultimate for the PlayStation 4. This is one of the two PlayStation 4 games you can get for free as part of the Instant Game Collection if you are a PlayStation Plus subscriber. And although Pixel Junk Shooter in and of itself is not a new game, it originally came out on the PlayStation 3, Pixel Junk Shooter Ultimate is a new game and it just came out at the beginning of june so let's take a look at this we're just gonna do some of the main campaign things and this is essentially a twin stick shooter the premise behind this is that you're going to these different planets and you are rescuing all these little workers that have become trapped on the planet so you have to save them and try your best not to kill them and or get them killed so this is the very first world that we are on and let's go to the volcano the interesting thing about this game when it first came out and what made it pretty unique were how the elements of the game interacted with each other and i'll show you what that means in a minute so here's a little ship a little orangish yellow ship and we simply just hit r2 to sort of just fire these uh, missiles here and if we hold it we can really go all out but you check out that meter oh no lava and they didn't give me time to talk through that you can check out that meter on the uh, lower left hand corner of the screen and as you can see that lava is getting closer to me so unlike the other missions I've done this seems to be under a time restriction All right, let's see if this is going to continue to build up. I think it might. See, one of the biggest obstacles, oh, jeez. One of the biggest obstacles that you have in this game is timing and keeping your ship from getting too much heat. And you will acquire all that heat if you are, if you are too close to lava and you cool yourself off by finding some little water deposits like that. That's just on this planet though. Let, let's get out of here because this seemed to <laughs> this seemed to have a timed aspect to it. All right, so here are the little here are the scientist worker guys. You just hit L2 and then you can gather them up that way. The random little enemies like the one I just got hit by. And when you do get hit, you know, you just find a body of water to submerge yourself in because that's kind of like your little health meter. All right, let's dig through here. Let's see what we can get. You can spin, and whoa, and when you spin, you can cut through some of the uh, some of the rock here, and you can also absorb those little star coins that you see floating around. You do like this, and then you can just kind of suck them in. All right, these guys are a problem. Let's see, we can take them out. It's always a good idea to try to make sure that you're not going to cause uh, a reaction that's going to end up getting the people that you're trying to save killed. Because you can try to shoot through a wall, but then that wall will have lava in it. And then that lava will spill over to the people you're trying to rescue and then you've essentially killed them. So that's a problem. Alright, let's go a little bit further. get out of the way oh it's getting warm here need to all right I need to back off need to back off it's getting a little bit too hot all right let's go back in yeah yeah I know you need my help all right we're gonna have to try to make this Ooh, wow this is oh no Get away, get away, get away, get away. Oh, and that's what happens. When you take on too much heat, you crash. Crash and burn. All right, let's try this again. Trying it again. And also trying not to get the, try not to get the workers killed. All right, there's no one down there. Well, he's down here. Grab him. 
I'm gonna destroy these guys since they're just in the way. Yeah, and there was a time when the PlayStation 3 where all these pixel junk games were really just all the rage. There was pixel junk racers, uh, pixel junk monsters, had pixel junk shooter, uh, pixel junk Eden, which was very unique. It was kind of like a weird garden type of uh, type of game. So those were all very good. Oh, I can't go that way. I guess I guess I'm going to have to carve. A little pe no 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 okay I see I see keep my wits about myself you gotta shoot through here there we go let me rescue this guy and there's these little like diamonds that you find in here but you'll need those diamonds to progress to other levels and you see what's happening as the water hits that lava it turns it into soft rock soft rock that I can sh I did not see that. It turns it into soft rock. Soft rocks that you can shoot through. So that it doesn't become a problem for you. Alright, so I'm not doing so well in this game so far. I did play the original Pixel Junk Shooter uh, for the PlayStation 3. Didn't get too far. I uh, don't know why. But whenever there's a cool like little re-release like this, especially Pixel Junk Shooter Ultimate, which gives you more stuff, then I am all for it. There are those bats again. So let's shoot a hole through here on all of these sides. Give the water some maximum, maximum chance getting out there we go all right now here are these bats let's take care of them you can also hit X and you'll do a little spinny move like this but as you can see it takes a lot of heat to pull that off so look at that we have cooled things down so I'm just gonna grind my way in here and hope that I don't accidentally kill these guys in the process uh, let's get this there we go and then once you rescue the appropriate amount of workers the next area opens up and you can just fly there there's one out of three diamonds that I could get and you can find them you just kind of have to shoot through all the rocks because they're usually just they're usually just hidden within the rock and there's little hidden areas that you can sometimes find like this you know I just kind of have to look off the map and like hmm I wonder what could possibly go here and then you'll find little secret caverns like that all right let's get out of here but first let's try to take care of these dudes because it would be a shame to die now all right let's go I got my little protective barrier over myself. Let's rescue these guys. Yeah, see, if I hadn't done that fast enough, they would have gotten melted by that lava. So I'm glad I took care of that. Shoot this free, and the water comes down. It's also a lot of trial and error, you know, because you can easily make a mistake and be like, oh man, I totally got that guy killed. But then. You just realize, had I done this first, then I could have worked my way around that. So you just have to kind of learn as you go. All right, I rescued those guys. I'm going to free up this lava and get out of the way. I can save him. I can save him. And we are free to move on. Let me get this first. Is this a hidden area? Yes, it is. It's got a little star. Ooh, and a one-up. Come here, one-up. Because your lives are basically the uh, 
are basically the people that you rescue. Since one of them got killed, that's technically I lost a life. But I got him back. Here's something that's interesting. These little blue things, if you drop them in the water, they can cause really big watery explosions like that. And then there are other ones that absorb water. And you pick it up and, it's, and it kind of becomes like a big circular fire hose type thing. And then you can just use that to clear a path through some of the through some of the lava. All right, going down. All right, rescue these guys. All right, here's one of the things I was talking about. So I just grab it off of here, and I can drop it, let's say, like into this pool. Oh wait, no, that wasn't the one. Oh no. Pick the wrong one. All right, let's grab this one then. And we'll just take this up and just drop it right there. Carving out a little path. Okay, there's a guy who's down there just kind of floating. He's all alone, so let's just carve through here, grab him. I don't want him to be trapped by that rock, so I had to be quick about that. I'm going to grab another one of these, and uh, I need to see where they are, because I don't just want to keep shooting blindly like this, because I could easily kill one of the guys. Here's a diamond. Alright, this seems to be nothing but lava here, so I'm going to just free that up. Alright, got these two guys. Alright, I got Tommy. He's from the reserve shift. Kim, my friend, went down in the main group. He said... He said overcomes that it was empty down here and it was getting so cold, but then the messages stopped. How could he have thought it was cold, though? It's some sort of volcano. All right, so we got a couple more guys to rescue. And we move on to the next area. You'll know when you're done with an area, when you kind of just go through this, like a little circular vault door. That's how you know you're finished. All right, so here's one worker. Ooh, here's a few different workers. And now I'm going to, oh God. Gotta be careful. I don't wanna shoot the guys. There we go. There we go. Oh, you almost got me. All right, so I got a bunch of stuff. Ooh, what's this? And another guy up here. Ooh, what's this he's carrying? Oh, that makes lava. So, you know, the lava can... Oh, God. Uh... The lava can work for you and against you. It really just depends on the situation that you're in. Because, you know, even though the water technically is better for you, since it cools down your ship and the lava is like the main obstacle right now, you may just need the lava. Okay, did I accidentally shoot a guy? Yes, I did. I accidentally shot him. There we go. And that clears the stage. All right, so in order to get here to this very next level, you need 45 uh, of those gems. 
And we're from here, you see that I'm missing five from there, I'm missing four from here, I'm missing uh, four more from there, and we're missing a bunch from the volcano. So, you know, you just have to kind of got to go back and do it. And it is a cooperative game if you want to do two player mode. Uh, there's also an online battle mode. Let's just know how to play because I haven't played this before. Game rules. It's a special two-player mode. Each player takes turns to play offense and defense. So on offense, Shepard Survivor capsule, capsules to your area and avoid detection. And defense, you can't grab any survival caps. Oops, survival capsules. Your aim is to prevent your opponent from scoring points by finding and defeating them. Okay, we let's do one game. We're gonna do one game of this league battle. I guess is what we would probably pick. Okay. Please buy an item. All right, I'm gonna buy an item. Uh, how much money do I have? 150. Oh, so these are things that I could use against my opponent. I can, they can have their ship controls reverse. Opponents leave behind a trail, so you can easily identify them. That seems very helpful. Um, but I can't afford that. Shoot. Uh, so I can only buy one of these so I can either get a disruptor to reverse their controls The direction of their opponents by a sonar and a missile that trails them uh, Well, let's do the missile Matching and let's see what this is all about Let's see if we can find an opponent for me All right, so it's me versus Amazing Chief F99. I have no idea <laughs> what I'm doing. Around slippery when wet, that's the stage. Okay. Um, I'm going to assign this to square, I guess. That's the only weapon I have. Yes, I am okay. I'm ready. All right, let's do it. All right, turn one. I am on offense. Collect survivors and avoid being found by my opponent. It's like hide and, hide and seek. All right. Here's, here's some people here. Uh, rushing with the water. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness! Oh, what? I'm respawning though. That was bad. Alright, so I'm gonna grab this guy. I don't know where I'm supposed to go exactly. Is it here? Okay, I have to just drop them off like right there so I can get him and I can drop him off right there so I have two points uh, let's see if we can find some more there's a survivor there I don't know how big this map is so I don't know how hard it would be to find me oh god there he is no Oh, he died. Oh, wow. All right, so I got four points. Ah, he's chasing me. All right, I'm gonna go up this way. Drop you off, th oh God, no. Drop you off there. Wasn't expecting that, were you? What's this? I don't know what that is. Uh, I don't think they know what they're doing. It's like they were trying to shoot the survivor. I don't know if they can shoot survivors. I don't think they can. I don't know. We'll see. Uh... Yeah, it looks like they're... Can he shoot the survivors? It doesn't look like it. I don't know. 
No, because I still have six point. Wait. Find your opponent, defeat them, and steal their ship icon. Okay. For all I know, I'm not even doing this right, but we'll see. Did he reverse my controls? Okay, we're good. So I'm looking for him. I'm looking for him. There he is. Die, you. <laughs> okay. So you got to blow him up and take the ship's icon. Now we're on turn two, so now I'm back on offense. Okay. Here is a, here's a guy. He's respawning. I guess he died. Whoop. 7 0. I see your cries for help. Oh no, there he is. Hey, what happened? A problem has occurred. Oh, come on. Well, I think I was probably going to end up winning that one anyway. So yeah, that's Pixel Junk uh, Shooter Ultimate. What I showed with the lava and everything, I mean, that's just a portion of the game. I think there's some other elements that combine to do different things as well. And that's just the first, the first part. I don't think there is online co-op in this game, but there is uh, co-op same screen co-op which is somewhat of a rarity these days but you can still play that way so if you have playstation plus this is free and you may be able to squeeze some enjoyment out of this with a buddy you know and that that battle mode seems like it could ho also hold some promise the whole hide and seek mechanic it's you know it's kind of simple to understand once you get in there and looks like you can you know have a reasonably decent time with this but it's free for playstation plus so get it anyway until next time, I'm Jeremy. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.